Hey guys, I'm Asia and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be looking into storing power with Rotary Craft. So uh, what we're going to be making today is a industrial coil. Now, uh, let's get all the parts we need. Uh, so, start making the parts. So what you're going to need first is you're going to need, need about eight wind springs okay. can they be stacked that's very odd maybe they can only be stacked in sevens stacked stacked in sevens nah. you need a mount so mounts are built by one base and four steel ingots on the outside and you don't do it in the work table sorry you do it in the Normal cable, like such. Doop, 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 doop. There we go, now we've got a mount. Okay, and what are we making here? Uh, shaft, and you get those cores you made before. Put it on the outside, and you get a tension coil. And now we're going to be making a brake, which is comprised of a HSLA steel gear, a shaft bearing, and a tooth gear. Okay. So the gear go goes down the bottom, shaft bearing in the center, tooth gear at the top, and then two shafts on the other side, and you get a brake disc. Now I'll put it all together. The brake disc on the left, the tension coil in the center, one shaft unit on the right, and base at the bottom. And you do that in the work table, <laughs> and that should work. Okay, here we go. Yep. Oh, I wish you could just do this normal crafting table, that'd be awesome. Uh, industrial coil, there we go. Okay, so what the industrial coil is, you uh, essentially. Um, supply shaft power to it from behind and that shaft power essentially winds up a coil and let's see let's get a screwdriver to flip that around it essentially stores that power in a coil and then when you uh, supply it for a redstone signal which is why I put a torch here let's grab the tools I'm also going to grab a shaft junction too So when you supply it for redstone signal, it uh, essentially releases all the power that's got in it. But the good thing about the um, this coil is that if you right click on it, you've got a output speed and a torque level. So you can set how much torque you want out of it. So you can set, let's say if there's an um, extractor that's going to be powered, if we set it to 81 9 to rads a second and 512 newton meters which is mind you is is a lot of power the amount of power in this coil will drain very very fast so but uh, let us just divert some of this power I've got uh, four steam engines powering some one um, one water pump so I'm gonna change it so we Divert some of the power. Nope. Okay. Look. Oh, I need one input, two outputs. So it should be. Oh, I thought I had it right the right way. There we go. So currently, if we use our tool, it should say. Okay, why aren't you turning? I'm guessing I've got the colors wrong. There we go. So it's transferring two kilowatts at five twelve rads. And let's see what the water pump's doing. Water pump is six hundred seventy three. So right now, this one is set to uh, inline. Um, inline, so most of the power actually goes. So it's inline, uh, which means uh. 
one of these, probably 31 to 1. So 31% of the power goes, not power, uh, 31 fractions goes to the pump and only one fraction goes to the side. So let us just change that to uh, 3 to 1 inline. Okay, and let's see what the pumps. Okay, 3 to 1. Okay, so that's power there. Uh, that's 16 kilowatts there. And if we right click on, oh, no, with the tool we can see we're storing 398 kilojoules. Do it again, and it's getting more and more. We need to send a lot more power down that way, so we'll send the maximum power to the right, this being the bend, so 31 fractions that way, and only one fraction this way. So if we just check the stats again, pump receiving two kilowatts at 512 rads, okay. Um, these pumps, uh, by the book, say need 32 newtons meters of force, but I found that they do work uh, with less, so not probably not as well as you want them to. So two megajoules have been uh, stored. Okay, so let us look inside here. Have we got anything to burn? Not burn. Polarize. Let's just grab some stuff out of here. What does this grab? What do I want to do? Do I want to do diamonds? Diamond? I thought I had diamonds. Uh, let's go. Do do ruby, fluorite, sapphire, germanium. Never the sapphire? Yeah, we'll go there. We'll get some sapphires out of this. Okay, we chuck it in, in here. As you can see, uh, the flick isn't up. The, the, the lever isn't flicked yet, so. It's still storing power and it's got 5.5, but if we flick it, you'll notice it, uh, um, that these will spin up quite fast. Okay, and so that's how fast the power goes through. Zero kilojoules, so let's see how fast that took. No, oh, not even enough. I will be back um, in a while. I'm gonna let this uh, store up some power. I'm gonna change its settings down to. Uh, I'm going to set it down to, what should we set it to, uh, let's just set it to 512, no, no, 256 rads, no, not even that, 32, that should be fine, and 512 newton meters, so I shall be back, and we'll have some power to run this, okay guys, I'm back, and the stored energy is out now at 14 megajoules a tick. I've changed the settings so we've got enough power uh, output to run the first stage and if we flick the switch we can start to see it working. Now if you take note that the this thing requires, let's see what's the newton meters uh, first stage. So first stage it needs 512 and we're only supplying how much? 512, right? Um, you notice that we're actually getting about <coughs> we're getting three and a bit of steam power engine worth and three steam or four steam engines at max only do 128 newton meters so um, you can see this calls uh, pretty good for one you can avoid using gearboxes which means avoid using lubricant two you can put in a power source that moves a, a high torque like a like a, a, a waterfall, I forgot it's called a, a hydrokinetic uh, power source, which has high torque but very slow rads. So you can essentially input a an off speed or off torque amount into the industrial coil and have it output, excuse me, <coughs> output the required um, power that you want. You can see. We need a lot more speed for the second stage. That's no point. Um, and at the start of this, I did say that uh, we're going to store power with rotary craft. Now, um, it is possible to convert rotary craft power into um, RF power and uh, Minecraft dual power and store it uh, in other mods. You can also convert it into steam power as well and store it that way. 
So, I wouldn't... If you were going to consider wanting to... Well, if you want to store a lot of power, maybe don't go with the industrial core and have it convert into an, another mod that you're more f familiar with. But if you want to do everything Rotocraft style, uh, this is the way you want to go with. Um, so next episode, what I'll be doing is uh, showing you how to convert the shaft power into um, probably RF power, and then from RF power back into shaft power. And we'll probably be storing that power inside of a, a, a Whetstone energy cell or something like that. And then, uh, what's after that? Uh, I'm looking at my big list of uh, to-do stuff. And it appears, uh, what is it? One, we've got to set up a uh, hydrokinetic power source, which is a high amount of torque. Very slow uh, rads, but it's a, it's a lot of power. Uh, two, we've got to look into magical crops. They're awesome. Um, you can automate them with the, uh, the fans. And with those, we can get whatever, iron, coal, neverack, you name it, the magical crops can do it, uh, okay, so what else, I can't think of any more right at the moment, I'll add them to the list as they come through, <laughs> so, until next time guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, do it now, you don't have to do it now, you can do it later, um, but please like, comment, and subscribe, uh, let me know how you think, uh, how you think yeah exactly how you think words do not come at my mouth properly so until then guys <laughs>